Hi everyone, this is Abby Jo at Forgotten Way Farms, and thank you so much for joining us today in our cozy winter kitchen. So in today's cozy winter kitchen, I wanna talk about waffles. And that comes to what kind of waffle iron do I use? I used to have a waffle iron that I got when we were married, and it was like um, a Belgian waffle maker. It was real deep pitted and, you know, a circle made out of like, oh, probably like Teflon or whatever. And it really was a piece of junk. It was expensive, but it was a piece of junk. I just absolutely can't handle the waffle iron makers that are on the market. I grew up with those heavy metal chunks of waffle irons. That's what my great grandma made our waffles on. That's what my grandma made my waffles on. And that's what my mom made the waffles on. My grandma still has those waffle irons and they still work. So what happened to me was a light bulb moment. And that was basically like, I need to go to a thrift store and I need to find an old waffle maker. And that is what I did. I gave away my waffle maker and bought myself this beautiful beauty right here for $5 and just kind of buffed it up a little bit. And we use it all the time. What I really love about these old ones is that they cook at a higher heat. They have littler squares, which I really enjoy for like filling up with maple syrup and just, they're just crispier. I really enjoy a good crispy waffle and that's what these do. And of course, if you like a real soft waffle, you can just cook it for less time. But I grew up going to my grandma's house on the weekends and she would make us waffles that were so divine. And she always had goose eggs on her property that she would make these fluffy goose egg omelet type things with cheese on it and then make us waffles. And they were just like literally the delight of, you know, childhood visits were these waffles. And so now as an adult making waffles, it definitely brings back all the memories of that time. And I still to this day love those. But my grandma, she probably just used a white flour. And um, I found that the whole wheat flour almost makes a heartier and crispier waffle. And so I really enjoy using whole wheat. So I hope you guys get the courage to, if you want a better waffle iron, go check out a thrift store. Seriously, the appliances that were made in the old days, or should I say vintage, they last. I mean, nowadays I don't think a waffle iron is gonna last 60 years like my grandma's waffle iron. So I feel like they're a treasure. And if you take good care of them, they're going to last your whole lifetime and talk about, you know, recycling old things and not buying new things. What a thrifty way to do it. So let's tuck into some cooking now and make these waffles, get some beautiful toppings, set the table and have a delicious brunch. This lovely set of bowls are a treasure. One of them has a dark hairline crack. I use it for putting fruit in and not for mixing. But even when I have things with little flaws in them, I tend to keep them anyway. I currently get all my fresh eggs from my neighbor down the road. The yolks are a beautiful deep orange and I'm thankful to have fresh eggs. Grinding my own flour is a beautiful thing. I love watching the whole process. It's quite relaxing. It amazes me that little kernels of grain can be turned into lovely fresh flour that I can bake with. I feel like the little red hen in one of my favorite childhood books, making my own flour and baking with it.
The griddle is nice and hot and ready for the batter. All the steam coming out is a good thing. Cooking it at a nice high heat and the waffles are done in four minutes. Nice, golden, and crispy. Strawberries are something that I usually only buy in season and stock my freezer full for the winter months. But I happened upon a cell that was too good to pass up and surprisingly the strawberries were quite good. Today is a perfect day for a family brunch. So we had our waffles, fancy, with whipped cream, berries, syrup, and hot tea. Now to set the table. I love layering a table and using my favorite things to make it special. As you can see, there's a little glimpse of our wood cook stove, not completely installed yet, but hopefully when the weather is a bit better, And now my husband has some outside work to get done. Ice is built up around the mailbox from the plows.
And now I'm going to mix a mocha latte for my husband. It is one of his favorite drinks. I use my homemade chocolate syrup and I love my AeroPress for hot strong shots of coffee and my milk frother that my son bought me for Christmas. I will link everything down below in the description box, including my recipes for my waffle and chocolate syrup recipes. Thank you as always for visiting and have a cozy day. Talk soon.